Mira, ahora vamos a trabajar en el robo de base. Rápido, ¿eh? I can do that. Hey, yo, why don't we take these bases again? Yo solo veo una base y tengo que robarme. Welcome back to another fat video, family. I am your boy, JLV, and we are about to love our time. If this is your first time browsing through the channel, subscribe, it's free. I know you're looking for some fire sneaker content. Now, family, today I'm going to be talking about Nike, Nike's turn oil, and what Nike has just announced, as well as the power of marketing. Fam, we got to get into it. Let's go ahead and jump right into it right now. So it says the swoosh have announced promotion of Tom Clark to the role of strategic advisor of CEO John Donahoe. Clark, who has been with Nike for over 30 years, that's key fam, previously served as the president of innovation. Now here's the thing, clearly what they're talking about is, hey, this gentleman Clark, in the past, Nike was successful with him. The question is, did Clark step down as the president or was he fired? So, will this turn into a hamster wheel? We just don't know. But it also reads, in his new role, Clark will work closely with Nike executives team to drive strategic initiatives and long-term growth plans. And also, when I think about this, I'm like, yo, are old heads really the ones who care about innovation? And when I'm speaking about innovation, I'm talking about not only technological advancements when it comes to wearing sneakers, comfortability, making people faster, more durable. But the number one issue with Nike is, is that they're lacking creative innovation when it comes to producing a new silhouette or silhouettes that people are desiring to include the price point. So do y'all really think these old heads really, really should be in these positions? And if so, the innovative team, are they hiring younger individuals who know what the market really desires? That's a really good question in my opinion. It also states right here. The significant leadership reshuffle comes as Nike continues to face ongoing market turbulence. The company's shares plummeted by 20% following the release of weak quarterly earnings and a degraded future outlook. This steep wall wiped out approximately 28 billion of shareholder value and represents the largest one day percentage decrease in Nike's shares since the company went public in 1980. 28 billion. Fam, those are some real, real staggering, crazy numbers. So, I feel like Nike is absolutely in some trouble and is this the best move to do something like this in the middle of a turbulence? But at the same time, I don't feel like Nike, they're absolutely grabbing new individuals, younger, fresher individuals who can absolutely say, hey, this is what the this is what you know sneaker heads are looking for, and then the old heads with the business mind can teach the younger ones. Hey, listen, let me listen to you, but you listen to me, and we can cross reference each other so we can make this thing absolutely explode. Let me know if I'm tripping, fam. Just let me know. I do feel like younger and older business minded individuals, designers should work together because when you have a cross information like that is only going to make the product or products even better. Next up, the power of marketing. And I will say this, Nike, I am giving you guys your props because you are doing the right thing. If you guys go into the Nike website, not sneakers app, you have to go to Nike website. Man, Nike is marketing the MLB All-Star and it is absolutely featuring Travis Scott. Now, with this marketing, right this is free publicity on their website but also they're giving free publicity to what the captain jacks fam which i think is dope now i need you guys to check this quick snippet out your form isn't bad but you want to know the key you got to step up to the plate believing you can hit it's easy now that's how you swing the bat Dig. 
That better not be my car. Do you guys see what I'm talking about right now? They are using Ken Griffey Jr. along with Travis Scott. This is absolutely marketing genius in my opinion. I think it was absolutely perfect Nike what you did and it lowered your cost down because again it's on your platform even though you have to pay these individuals to do this you still lowered your price point when it comes to doing something on your own platform. Perfect. Now Nike is hyping up the MLB. Why? Because clearly they have to be sponsoring something with the MLB All-Star and they're trying to sell four of their cleats. And listen, we know that the Air Jordan 3 cleats is absolutely dope, without a shadow of a doubt. But in my opinion, when it comes to something that means more on the field, I do feel like the Ken Griffey Jr. cleat will be selling more than the Air Jordan 4 cleat. Hey, y'all need to let me know because if you are a true baseball fanatic, you already gonna generally gravitate to what? Kareem Griffey Jr. in my opinion. So I think this is dope. But Nike, here's what you messed up at fam. I think it's great you are selling, listen, the MLB jerseys. Even though jerseys are not popular anymore, but for that $195 price tag, that is way too damn high. If these jerseys right here would have been selling for 85 bucks, I guarantee you, you would have done a lot better job. I do not see too many people spending pretty much $200 on a jersey. Jerseys are not popular. There's nothing wrong with rocking jerseys, but in this day and age, jerseys is just played out. It is what it is. But again, this is what I'm talking about when it comes to Nike. It's the confusion. You're doing something so great over here, and then you just want, 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 want right over here. So here's what I have to say to Nike, man. Hire me. I'm absolutely here and available and I guarantee you, you guys will absolutely do better when it comes to innovation, creativity, technology, and absolutely style. Fam, if you enjoyed today's content, like, share, subscribe, hit that post notification bell, because every time your boy drop a brand new video, I want y'all to get the latest and greatest. Now you know the model. Mm -hmm.